in this chapter we have one more session that is division algorithm of a polynomial division algorithm for polynomials just like numbers we can divide a polynomial into another polynomial let p of x is equal to x square minus 6x plus 8 and uh, p of x is equal to x minus 2 we can divide the polynomial p of x by q of x. How we can divide this? x square minus x, x minus 8 divided by x minus 2. Here x, here x square. So x square by x is x. x square by x, that is x. Therefore, the first term in the quotient polynomial is x. Now, x into x is x square. x into minus 2 is minus 2x. Now, changing the sign and and. This is what we divide a number by another number. 156 divided by 4. 3 times 4 into 3 into 12. Now change the sign and and, that is 3. Now drop 6, 36, 9 times 36, 0. Just like here we changing the signs of this polynomial and and x square minus x square 0, minus 6x plus 2x minus 4x. Now dropping minus 8 here. Next term in the quotient polynomial can be obtained by dividing minus 4x by x. Minus 4x by x. So we get minus 4. This is the next term, minus 4, isn't it? Minus 4 into x minus 4x. Minus 4 into minus 2 plus 8. Again changing the signs and and. So we get 0 here also 0. Therefore, quotient is x minus 4. And the reminder is zero. Here the reminder is 0. Now let me take another example. Raise to x square minus uh, 4x plus 5 uh, p of x is x plus 3. Now to x square minus 4x plus 5. Here x plus 3. Find the first term of the quotient polynomial 2x square by x. 2x square by x will have 2x, isn't it? Now I write 2x here. 2x are in the x to x square. 2x are in the 3 plus 6x. Now changing the signs and and. Adding. Here 2x square minus 2x square 0. Minus 4x minus 6x minus 10x. Plus 5. Now find second term in the quotient polynomial minus 10x by again x, so we get minus 10. Now write minus 10 here. Minus 10 in the x minus 10x minus 10 in the plus 10 that is minus 30. Again changing the signs. Now add minus 10x plus 10x0 
phi 1 plus star t dot t phi. Here, quotient is quotient is equal to x minus 10. Remainder is is equal to dot t phi. Is it? This way, we can divide a polynomial by another polynomial. So we get the quotient and the remainder. Equation algorithm method states that if p of x and uh, g of x be any two polynomials, polynomials and uh, g of x is not equal to 0, if g of x is equal to 0, then division by 0 is not defined. So, g of x should not be equal to 0. Then we can find the polynomials. Then we can find the polynomials. q of x and r of x. q of x and r of x. Such that. P of x is equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x, where r of x is equal to 0 or degree of r of x, degree of r of x is less than degree of g of x. This is known as division algorithm of division algorithm for polynomials, isn't it? The division algorithm of polynomials states that if p of x and g of x be any two polynomials and uh, g of x is not equal to zero, then we can find the polynomials q of x and r of x such that p of x is equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x. p of x is known as the good average. g of x is the divisor. q of x is the quotient. r of x is the remainder polynomial. Where r of x is equal to 0. In the first case, r of x is equal to 0. Remainder is 0. In the second case, r of x, uh, here uh, r of x is equal to 35, that is degree of r of x, here degree is 0, constant polynomial, which is less than degree of g of x, g of x is the divisor polynomial, here degree is 1, that degree is 0, 0 is less than 1, isn't it? Here we have two questions, one is divide a polynomial by another polynomial, and uh, Verify the division algorithm for polynomials, isn't it? Here P of x is this, P of x is this, R of x, not Q of x, this is G of x, Q of x is the divisor. Q of x is the quotient, the quotient here is 2x uh, minus 10. Now, we have r of x is 35. Let me check the division algorithm for polynomials. The given polynomial P of x equal g of x into q of x. First find g of x into q of x. g of x is x plus 3 into 2x minus 10. Now removing the brackets we have. So 2x square minus 10x plus 6x minus 30. That is 2x square minus 4x minus 30. Isn't it? Now 
g of x in the q of x plus r of x is equal to 2x square minus 4x minus 30 plus r of x is 35. So we get 2x square minus 4x plus 5. This is equal to p of x. Isn't it? Divide. 3x cube plus x square plus 2x plus 5 by 1 plus 2x plus x square. Here p of x is equal to 3x cube plus x square plus 2x plus 5 and uh, g of x is equal to the dividend polynomial is x square plus 2x plus 1 you can arrange this polynomial in the standard form higher power to lower power now divide this polynomial 3x cube plus x square plus 2x plus 5 and divided by x square plus 2x plus 1. Here, first uh, in the quotient polynomial is obtained by dividing this by this. So 3x cube by here x square. So we get 3x. Here the first term is 3x, isn't it? Now 3x in the x square 3x cube. 3x in the 2x plus 6x square, 3x in the 1, 3x. Now changing the sides and and. Here 3x cube by 3x cube minus 3x cube is 0. x square minus 5x square. 2x minus 3x minus 1x that is minus x. Now drop this 5 plus the next term is obtained by dividing this by this minus 5 or x square divided by x square so this is minus 5 the next term is minus 5 minus 5 into x square minus 5 x square minus 5 into plus minus 10 x minus 5 into this minus 5 now change the signs and and here all are negative so it becomes positive minus 5 x square plus 5 x square 0 minus 5 x square plus 5 x square 0 minus x plus 10 x plus 9 x 5 or plus 5 plus 10. Therefore, quotient is quotient is equal to 3x minus 5. The reminder is equal to reminder is equal to 9x plus 10. Isn't it? Quotient is 3x minus 5 and reminder is 9x plus 10. Let us uh, verify the division algorithm. Here, P of x is this, G of x, Q of x and R of x. Here, P of x is equal to quotient polynomial, that is 3x minus 5. And R of x is equal to 9x plus 10. First find g of x in the q of x. g of x in the q of x is equal to here g of x is x square plus 2x plus 1 into this is 3x minus 5 plus r of x plus r of x is 9x plus 10. 
can find uh, straight away. So, trade XQ. Then minus 5x square plus cos x square then minus 10x then plus 3x then minus 5 plus 9x plus 10 that is 3x square x cube 6x square minus 5x square plus x square minus uh, 10x plus 9 minus x plus 3x plus 2x 10 minus 5 5 3x square plus x square plus 2x plus 5 is p of x plus 5 yeah plus 5 p of x isn't it hence we verify the division algorithm Hence we, hence we verified the division algorithm. Okay. Another question is divide three x square minus x cube minus three x plus one. by x minus 1 minus x square and uh, verify the division algorithm and verify the division algorithm isn't it first we have to divide the polynomial by another polynomial then verify the division algorithm here we can arrange this polynomial as p of x is equal to higher to lower degree so minus x cube plus 3x square minus 3x plus 5 and uh, g of x is equal to there also minus x square plus x minus 1 First of all, we arrange the polynomial from higher degree to lower degree. Otherwise, uh, the question will some complication. The question will become some complication. Okay. Now, minus uh, x cube uh, minus plus 3x square minus 3x plus 5. Here, minus x square plus x minus 1 here also first term is obtained by dividing minus x cube by minus x square minus x cube by minus x square that is plus x so here the first term is plus x isn't it x into minus x square minus x cube x into plus x plus x square x into minus 1, minus x. Now, changing the signs, here it becomes negative, here also positive. Minus x cube plus x cube is 0. 3x square minus 1x square 2x square. Minus 3x plus x minus 2x. Now, next term is 5. Now, 2x square divided by minus x square. is minus 2. Here I write minus 2. Minus 2 into minus plus 2x square. Minus 2 into plus x minus 2x. Minus 2 into minus plus 2. Now changing the signs. And and. Here I write 0. Minus 2x plus 2x 0. 5 minus 2 that is 3. Here quotient p of x is equal to x minus 2 and the remainder r of x is equal to 3. Isn't it? Now we are going to verify the division algorithm. 
क्या g of x into q of x plus r of x is equal to क्या g of x is equal to minus r x square plus x minus one into q of x is x minus two into two plus r of x is now removing the brackets we have minus x square into that is minus x cube minus into minus plus 2x square then x into x plus x square x into minus 2 minus 2x then minus 1 into x minus x minus into minus becomes plus 2 plus 3 minus x cube plus 3x square minus 5x plus not minus 5x minus 3x that is minus x cube plus 3x square minus 3x plus 5 which is equal to p of x friends we can go the division algorithm of that isn't it now one more question is there find all zeros of Two x raised to four minus three x square plus six x minus two. If you know that two of its zeros, zeros are.
Can our studies to x raised to 4 by x squared is to x squared? 2x squared and x squared, 2x raised to 4. 2x squared into minus 2 minus 4x squared. Minus 4x squared. Now, it's changing the signs. And, and. Here we have minus 3x cubed. Minus 3x squared plus 4x squared plus x squared plus 6x or minus 2, isn't it? The next term is minus 3x cubed by x squared. That is minus 3x. The next term in the quotient polynomial is minus 3x. Minus 3x into x square minus 3x cube minus 3x into minus plus 6x plus 6x. Now changing the signs and and here it, it becomes uh, 0 plus x square here plus x square minus uh, 2 here also becomes 0. Now, x square plus 1, x square by x square, 1, 1 into x square, x square, 1 into minus 2, that is minus 2. Now, changing the sign, and, and, so here it becomes 0, here also 0. That is, x square minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial. Here, we get another factor. So, p of x can be reference. Therefore, p of x is equal to, one factor is this, x square minus 2 into, another factor is 2x square minus 3x plus 1. Here, sum is equal to minus 3, product of is equal to 2 into 1 that is 2. Find the factors of 2, 1 into 2. 2 is a prime number, therefore the factors are 1 and 2. Minus 1 plus minus 2 is minus 3. Minus 1 into minus 2 is equal to 2. Therefore, here we can split the middle term. 2x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 2x square minus 2x minus 1x plus 1. So, from these two terms, 2x into x minus 1 plus minus 1 into x minus 1. Now, x minus 1 is common. So, we have x minus 1 into 2x minus 1, isn't it? So, here we write x square minus 2 into x minus 1 into 2x minus 1. Now we have to find the other zero source. To get the other zeros. We have x minus 1 is equal to 0 and 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Which implies that x minus 1 is equal to 0 means x is equal to 1 or 2. Here 2x is equal to 1 which implies that x is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, the zeros of uh, zeros therefore the zeros of p of x are 1 not 1 root 2 minus root 2 1 and 1 by 2 isn't it
there are four zeros. Number of zeros depends on the number of sorry, the number of zeros of a polynomial. The number of zeros of a polynomial depends on the degree of the polynomial. For linear polynomial, we have only one zero. For quadratic polynomial, we have two zeros. For cubic polynomial, there are three zeros. And uh, this is a by quadratic polynomial or a fourth degree polynomial, so it has four zeros, isn't it? Okay.